Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. couple more shuffles. Oops, let's see what just came out here. We have the hangman with the four of cups. So needing to have a new perspective about something that might be coming in towards you or a, an offer that an offer may arrive that you may need to have a different perspective on or you also may need to release something in order for something to come in. But it seems that you might be focused or having your mind in focused in one particular direction. So that may need to be reoriented, I'm hearing. So let's let's see what messages we can get for you today, Pisces. We'll see if those cards come out during your shuffle. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? We start off with the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, new growth, new cycles starting here. So this is an opportunity coming for you, Pisces. Just as we were seeing on the Four of Cups, we have a cup coming out of the sky. Here we have the Ace of Wands coming out of the sky. So it's something new here is on the horizon. Then we have here the Queen of Swords, making the best logical decisions for yourself. This is also somebody who is very professional and behaves in a very professional manner as well. I'm, I'm being drawn to the similarity here with the clouds and the trees in the background, here we have a divine blessing or divinely orchestrated opportunity coming that's going to lead to new growth. And it's really going to require you to apply logic and insight. This will be an opportunity for you to evolve again and grow from a wand into a great tree or a forest. So there's an opportunity of multiplication in this this new beginning and we see that it's going to also enable you to move to calmer waters to a much better future as well let's see what else we get for you spirit what other messages do you have for pisces please i'm also hearing that any new opportunities that may be coming towards you you want to make sure that they will lead you to a good place because you're tired of being in bad places. Any other messages? Thank you. So we have a few things coming out here. We have five cards coming out, so let's make room. The next one is the Ten of Cups. This is about moving to a happy place, that you are ensuring that whatever opportunity comes in is going to lead you to a happy place because you've been in the dark, unhappy places far too often. You have known the pain far too often. Now it's time for pleasure. It's time for pursuit of happiness. So there does require, there is requiring a walking away, a moving on to those things that are no longer fulfilling you, things that are in your past, maybe even some things that are in your present that you know better, that you're wiser to the fact of the role they're playing in bringing darkness into your life. And moving towards the sun, towards taking a bold leap of faith, really having that faith to leap. Right now, taking a bold leap of faith is the right direction. And sometimes it is the right choice. But we do see that there's a little bit going back and forth, a little bit of uncertainty about, you know, here we see, you know, if I, if I take this opportunity, is it truly going to lead me to happiness? You know, I, I put in so much work. I'm willing to work for it, but I, I'm just not sure right now before I choose or before this opportunity is presented to me whether this would get me to where I want to be or not, which is in a place of happiness and fulfillment and emotional contentment. Let's dive in and see what else we can find for you. <clears throat> Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces, please? Pardon my snip, sorry. And we have the seven of pentacles. So this is you reaping harvest from the growth. This is an opportunity that you have been working to manifest, putting the seeds in the ground to sprout new life, new growth, new experiences for yourself. With this particular seven of pentacles, we see that the time for harvest is here. So it's, um, 
Anything else for this Ace of Wands? No. Okay, so what I'm getting from the Seven of Pentacles, Pisces, is the Seven of Pentacles is walking towards the Ace of Wands. There is um, a thing about every seven years, there will be re restoration that you need to switch crops in the field, that you need to have this change, that there's a release every seven years. I need to look that up, what that is called, because I can't remember. But every seven years is supposed to be like a forgiveness of debts, forgiveness of bad things and are moving forward and this is what it is like some of you have been waiting much 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 longer than seven years um so but keep that in mind that the time is now coming that you're going to have new growth in your life something different here what is this queen of swords what does pisces need to know about this queen of swords pardon me what is this queen of swords for pisces please spirit what is this queen of swords Okay, this is a lot of cards. We're going to take them because I feel like they fell literally right on the Queen of Swords. So it's like spirits like double reinforcing the fact that we need to take them. It's a lot. So I'm going to go a little bit rapidly through these. We have the Queen of Cups. This is your energy. You're holding on to what you have and really looking inside to make sure that it's going to be fulfilling for you. And we see within the cup here that the Queen of Cups has a fish in the cup. As you remove the lid, you see the tr your truth, what truly makes you happy within your cup, what, ha what happiness truly means to you, and you're guarding that. You're going to make sure that the decisions you make protect your fish in your cup. The fish in the cup is you. The cup is what protects you. you using your emotions to protect you, you're going to make sure going forward that you are emotionally protected and you're going to do that by making logical, clear, thought out choices. We do see a release here. This is a release of waiting, no longer waiting, setting the bird free to fly here, which you are taking this bold leap of faith, Pisces. Now, this could be going to, look at, the, this is interesting. Look at how you set the bird free and it comes to you transformed or it goes to this King of Swords, King of Swords being masculine, air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So the bird is being set free, but then it lands in the land of knowledge on your arm, knowing um, in a masculine logical energy because you have done all the work. In order to set this new cycle or this new chapter into motion, the next chapter will require different types of work, different types of learning, different types of effort, different types of focus. But where you are right now, at the end of this seven-year period, you've done the work for this chapter of your life. The work is completed. And now we see you are transitioning to a new land, to a, a new place of happiness. To something much better for yourself where you're going to have victory and accolades rewards for the work that you have done hangman coming out you're not going to have to suffer or sacrifice as much going forward you will not have to sacrifice or sacrifice or suffer as you have done in the past that is done spirit is coming to give you perspective without the levels of pain that you had in the past. The levels of pain you have gone through in the past were unique to your soul's journey because without them, you would not have the same expansive connection with divine and ability to see. Then we have the tower coming. This is sudden wealth, Pisces. This is suddenly coming into your own. This is suddenly having independence, a life of beauty. This is coming out of a seven-year cycle or however long your cycle has been. And now the it's, it's a good tower. It's a good tower leading you to stability, leading you into the fruits of your labor where you'll have a refined life. What is the Six of Swords, please? What is the Six of Swords, please, Spirit? And we have the Four of Pentacles. But 
your new life will cost you your old life. So it's going to, if you do not release, if you do not release your old life, it will be released for you. There will be a, a forced ending here as we see death creeping into the background and watching whether you're going to release your past or not and move forward because it, your past cannot travel the journey you're about to go on. What is this 10 of cups, please? What is this? And we have the four of swords. May your pa past rest in peace. Um, you are headed here. The six of swords and the 10 of swords together are the 10 of swords. The worst is now behind you. You are heading to a place of peace and happiness. Some of you may have even had some loved ones or somebody that you know recently pass. And I'm, I'm being told to let you know they are in a happier place. Um, what is this Eight of Cups, please? What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces? It's time to move on for sure. We're having a lot of forward-looking energy here in this reading. But you've done the work, Pisces. For for a long time, you kept doing the work and kept doing the work and kept doing, doing the work, even in the midst of the pain, in the midst of losing your faith, in the midst of giving up hope giving up your dreams, feeling discouraged as though things are never going to come to fruition. Here, we do see that things are moving. And here we have the Eight of Cups, moving away from any type of illusions, unrealistic expectations, or fragmentations. You are making a choice of what it is you want, and you're moving forward to pursue that. The Eight of Cups is not only a walking away and moving on, but it's a walking towards your nine of cups. So this is a progression in the desires of your heart. What is this fool for Pisces? That requires this leap of faith. What is this fool for Pisces? Also Aries. This is a celebration, maybe reunion with friends. But this is something to celebrate Pisces. You're going to be able to, I'm hearing you're unencumbered. You're going to be unencumbered by the ties and chains that would have kept you bound one more card for this fool, please. I feel like there's another message for this fool. What else do we need to know for this fool, please? One more card for this fool, please, Spirit. For some of you, I see that this will, this transition will also enable you to perhaps even go buy some new clothes. So you'll be looking quite dapper. And then we have the two of wands. So there could very well be somebody that you meet on your path or somebody already in your life that you get to celebrate with and share your successes and share this new beginning with. But this is going to be also a choice of who you allow to know about this newfound celebration, this newfound success, this new beauty that's in your life and who who you're going to allow in your world as you go forward. Some people aren't going to make the cut and that's just how it's going to be. What is this two of pentacles, please? What does Pisces need to know about this two of pentacles? Thank you. So we have two cards coming out. So it looks like there's two different things. We have the page of wands and the page of pentacles. This is interesting, Pisces, because here the page of wands is leaving somebody behind. Not everybody can go with you. Here, the Page of Pentacles is the ones who are going with you. So this is a decision that you may be on the precipice of or been going through this, but it, it's going to get to a point where a decision can no longer be back and forth or repeating cycles with people. There's going to be a point in time where it it's becomes definitive that a choice is required to walk away from some people and to give to other people. I'm hearing you will know who these people are by the way they make you feel and the darkness or lightness. If they bring darkness into your world versus if they bring light into your world, that will be a number one spiritual guidance for you. What is this Eight of Pentacles, please? What is this Eight of Pentacles, please? 
We have the magician. This is you bring, using your skills and abilities to bring something new into fruition. This next chapter, you're going to be working on something new, focusing on something new, using your skills and abilities, your energy that you have been developing and cultivating and growing over these long seasons of waiting and, and working to have something different here. And what is it you're going to have different? You're manifesting your heart's desire. You're manifesting healing. You're having hope. You're harnessing your energy in the tool of hope. And this is bringing great things into your life. The magician, I stand correct, this, the star card is Aquarius energy. So it might be even in Aquarius season um, of this year, which I believe is the end of December, early January. No, I stand corrected. That was wrong, Spirit. So they're like, what are you saying? Um, January to February. Yes, they're like, thank you. <laughs> um, so it might be um, up to next year where you're starting to work on something new because this is this is a process that's going to take time. You don't, I mean, some people do, but you don't just wake up one morning and say, oh, you know what? Everything in my life is completely changed. I no longer have associations. I no longer do this. I no longer do that. You don't know. No, it takes time and steps. It's it's too much um, to pull the trigger on every, metaphorically pull the trigger on everything in your life at once. So it, it's a progression of evaluation of the growth that's coming into your life and the release of the things that you know better of what you need to let go of in order to lead you to a place of peace and happiness and i am hearing rest in peace to those of whom which whom which who you leave behind i'm i'm getting remembrance the word remembrance keeps coming up in the readings um as well um but we do see you definitely going to a, a much happier future and moving away from the things that kept you questioning, the things that had you in um, chaos or fragmentation or where people may have been giving you false hope, you're moving away from people's hope and you're manifesting your own desires of your heart. You're building something too. We see here in the future, you building something. You've already built something, but you're going to be doing a new work. Um, Spirit One Angel answers card for Pisces, please. Okay, this is a lot, right? So we'll take it. So if you believe. So this is going to be a core fundamental that puts us into motion is if you believe. The timing is now. Ask your angels for any type of guidance or support. The answer is yes. We have compromise, and I think this compromise is showing that in order to go forward, you need to drop dead weight. That is the compromise. Within the next few weeks, you're going to see some signs that this is coming into fruition and that it's time to let go. Something is going to be made, I'm hearing, painfully apparent to you, and I'm sorry to deliver that message, but over the next few weeks, something is going to be made painfully apparent to you with some particular people in your lives or situations that it's time to let go of them and no longer allow them to accompany on your journey forward spirit one oracle for pisces one oracle for pisces for this thank you okay we have a few let me grab the ones off the floor so we we we're getting lots of messages today which is good so we have earth pulsing Pulse of the mother, slow down time in nature. So there's going to be a lot going on. You may have a tendency to want to rush it from to get from point A to point B as fast as you can, but that's not that's not going to get you the results that you're seeking. It's like if you're in a car and you want to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible, you press the gas down and just go as fast as you can. But that you are doing that at risk of getting tickets, of at risk of injury. You get what I'm saying. So go in a peaceful pace. Here in the Six of Swords, we don't see anybody rushing. 
This is not a fast vehicle of transportation. This is the guys in, on the boat, only one person is rowing with one wand and or or to get to the other side. This is not a fast paced transition. We have the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. You have been working for quite a while, Pisces, and I believe here with this magician, you have developed some very unique to you gifts and insights and abilities. So this next chapter may be an opportunity for you to apply that inner child energy, that tenderness, and those rare gifts. We have child of the com cosmos, the intelligence intelligence of the universe lies within you. This is exactly what we were saying, Pisces, is you've developed and cultivated in spirit is with you. You may be un in uncomfortable positions, but spirit is with you, feeding you this direct line. It's like the telephone bling to the universe, you know? You used to call me on the cell phone, right? So, but the, the universe doesn't even need to have a phone because they're right there giving you directly source. Source information. All paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. So as we are seeing with this Queen of Cups in the beginning, this is really looking at your truth. The Queen of Cups is removing the lid off her cup and looking at the fish within, your inner fish, your inner truth, what it is that truly makes you happy, what is true and genuine to you. And that is a match to you. Then finally here we have the Great Severing. Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening, to love. So sometimes you have tough love is sometimes required. Sometimes you need to love yourself and be strong enough to sever the things to let go of them in order to enable yourself to move forward on your soul's journey. Spirit, one lucky oracle for Pisces for this reading. Please show Pisces exactly what they need to see for this reading, please. Thank you. Okay. You are missing many opportunities. Take advantage. So you may remember in the beginning shuffle when the four of cups came out. Being so focused on what is currently going on or what has gone on may in fact have you missing many opportunities. Your troubles will vanish. Happiness is ahead. This is what we're seeing here, Pisces. You're moving to a place of celebration, taking a bold leap of faith and making choices that are altogether different that will elevate you up. Help your friend who is in need. He will bring you good luck. So there's somebody around you or maybe coming into your life, I'm hearing, that might, might not say they need help, but I think the kind of help they need is just your genuine kindness. Being kind costs you nothing but has very great rewards for you. You are missing, oh, I read that one. You will receive a check or paper money soon. So there's definitely something coming for you here. Your troubles will vanish, happiness is ahead. So something very good is on the horizon for you as we've been seeing during this reading. If you have a yes or no question, the answer is yes. And the number, the lucky number we have here is 609, which reduces to 50 which reduces to a number six. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps you and I wish you the best. God bless.